Selective Color Correction. Hi guys, today we will talk about Selective Color Correction. This is another great tool for toning an image. Open Photoshop and, as you probably already understood, now we will create an adjustment layer. It will be called Selective Color. After that, the Properties menu opens, in which we can choose the colors that we will adjust. You probably understand that each color contains some additions of other colors. And the shade of this color is determined by the level of expressiveness of additional colors. For example, as a rule, red shades predominate in human skin. And if we, for example, added blue to red color range, then the skin will get a colder shade. And if we remove it, on the contrary, the skin will get a warmer shade. And of course, other shades of red that are in this photo also change. Well, let's probably still make the skin warmer. Also skin has shades of yellow. And accordingly, if we edit it, the skin becomes more yellow. And if we remove the yellow color, then you see what we get. Please note that the yellow background doesn't change as much as the girl's skin, because we still work with red color. The black color determines the brightness. The more black color there is, the more saturated the image becomes. If the black color is removed, then the image occurs such a soft tonal gamma. We won't change the black color too much. If you select the relative parameter, then the correction is quite delicate. And if you choose absolute, then the changes we are making will have a strongly effect. For example, I am now moving the blue to the maximum. You can see what happens when I have the absolute option turned on. And let's turn on relative and do the same. As you can see, such strong changes are no longer happening. If you work with the relative enabled, you can more subtly determine some small nuances of color. And if you choose absolute, then you can change the colors radically. Let's look at other colors, for example yellow, and try to change the background color. Let's edit blue and remove yellow by zero. We can also for example edit purple shades, and the background will become pink, like this. If we adjust blue, then we can change the color of the girl's blues. To do this, we will edit blue shades. Let's edit purple for example. We take the yellow. So we will remove the blue ones by zero, or rather at minus 100, and the blues will turn purple. Then you can edit a little of black, to make the light even more intense. So there are no green shades here, but let's still see if something will change. Well, no, we don't have green here. Let's work with the blue again. Look, if I remove the blue color, the blinds behind the yellow get such a lilac shade, and if I edit it, it becomes saturated blue. You can also edit more purple and make the blues even more purple. And for example, like this. And let's compare. That's what we had in the beginning and what we got in the end. Just like that, you can change the color of the image, its tone range, and even change the color of its individual parts without using selection tool, which is very convenient. Selective color also has some other possibilities. Let's talk about them on the example of another image. Let's take this photo. Let's create a selective color adjustment layer. And let's try to do the tinting. Now we have photos in such blue tones. And I want to edit warm ones. In order to make the tinting, it is necessary to work with white, natural and black colors. Let's start with natural ones. So, remember that I want to make a warm color shim. So, I'm removing blue in natural tones. I added a little yellow and a little black. Then I switch to white. And I also remove blue colors. I added a little bit, just a little bit of yellow. Well, probably a little bit of purple. And I move on to black shades. And I do the same, yellow, purple. And maybe I will edit a little more brightness. Let's compare. At first it was like this. And now it has become like this. As you can see, it's very easy to colorize the image using this function. It was a very simple correction command. I think you can handle it easily and let's get to the homework. I suggest that you adjust the color of this photo by changing the color of the girl's blues, changing the background color and toning this image at your discretion. And in general I recommend you not only work with the images that I give, but also try to do it several times, at least on your own images, so that the material is firmly fixed in your memory. And it's all for today. It was Peter Romanov and AIM School. See you next time.